guys back with another video for my addictive blogging channel so in this video i will be telling you guys how you can configure dms with gts2 mini or any other ms fit watch with the notify app from scratch not only that we will also see how we can configure multiple ms fit devices and keep it in our notify app so that we can use all the tips and tricks and customization options in both the watches so as always this video will be a sick video guys and if you are a tech enthusiast don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this so let's start so to show you guys how to configure the ms fit watches with the notify app from scratch what i will do is i will clear data and clear cache of the notify app first so let's clear data and clear cache of the notify app so that it will be in the same condition when i would have downloaded it for the first time so here let's clear cache and clear data of the app and now let's go to the notify app first so as soon as i will be opening the notify app you will be seeing that it will search for the ms fit watch nearby ms fit watches so that it can pair with it and add it in the list of the devices which are added in the notify app so first it will show that allow notify for ms fit to access the device location you have to give the access of device location so already it has scanned and found two devices one is msfit gts2 mini and other one is msfit bpu so i just need to click on pair and here it will ask whether zap app is installed and if the zap app is not installed you have to select this one and you have to put the authorization key here so you can get the authorization key from doing some simple steps and here you can go to ms fit login with your account details and get the authorization key but i will recommend you to download the zap app because zap app is the official app for ms fit watches so i will recommend you to download the zap first and click on this zap installed option and click on next once you click on next it will ask for some basic details here just fill up the basic details about yourself here and click on complete so once you click on complete it will ask for some notification access for displaying information about your ms fit watch in the notification panel itself so here you need to click on this ok option and you have to give the notification access so in the permission manager of your phone and in the notification access area you just need to select notify for ms fit and click on allow notification access here once you click on allow notification access click on allow option and this will give all the notification access which are required by the notify app for displaying the important information of the watch so once you have given on this you have to come to notify app again and here you will see that the notify app has been connected and paired with your ms fit watch here i am using ms fit gts2 mini and you can see last thing not available so just need to just uh, slide down to get the sync complete and you can see it is syncing all the data with your watch so it will take some time and once it is synced it will show you that sync completed or last sync time and uh, if your watch has been connected or not you can also see it by going into the test vibrate option from here and you can see watch is vibrating that means the watch has been paired successfully with the notify app so these are the steps you need to follow in order to configure your watch first time in case the watch is not found by the notify app you need to put the mac address at the beginning of the configuration steps and once you put the mac address there your watch will be again paired with the notify app itself once you have done all these steps you can see that your watch has been connected and it will show the device has been connected with the notify app so now i will show you how you can configure another device with the notify app so that you can use both the devices at the same time and do the tips and tricks and customization options for multiple ms fit devices so here is my ms fit gtr 2e and i will connect this watch also with this notify for ms fit app so for this i need to click on add profile device again and here you can add a profile and add a device also click on add device you can see here that it is not finding the msp gtr 2e so i have to click on this ignore option so to show you the step of configuring the msp gtr 2e if it is not found or any other msp watch if it is not found by the notify app 
here you will see that there is an option of associate manually so click on that and give the mac address here so mac address you will get of any ms fit watch from the settings area in the settings if you go into the system and in about you will get the mac address of the device so here you can see the bluetooth mac address is there and you just need to type in here so after associating manually you can see the, the band has been found the msv gt 3 and i will click on next and you can see it will give you a prompt that it should be connected with the official zap app in order to function properly so if you have already connected the msv gts 2 mini in the zap app and if you want to use the msv gta 2 in the notify app you need to reconfigure the msv gta 2 or activate the msv gta 2 in the zap app in order to work with notify app so here you need to click on ok give some of the important information here and click on complete again the watch will be added and you can use this watch also with the notify app so here you can see that both the watches are being connected with the notify app and i can switch between any one of them which one i will be used to sync the data with the notify app so if i am using the msv gts 2 mini i need to click on that and if i am using the msv gta 2 e then i need to click on activate option and it will activate the msv gta 2 e so it can sync the data from this watch only so this is the thing guys if you want to configure multiple devices with the notify app you can do that and also the notify app has a really really good dark theme to it just you need to click on this black moon icon and it will activate the black theme which is the dark theme by the way the device which will be connected will be shown with this red accent so that you can understand now the msv gtr 2e has been connected so that's it guys this is the way you can connect any msv watch with the notify app from scratch it is really really easy guys and you can do it with multiple devices also so thank you guys i hope you have liked this video if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this thank you guys have a great day thank you